Hey Capricorn, my name is Crystal. I'm doing a reading for you guys. I'm just going to do your situation, the challenges, your actions, and advice, and the outcome, okay? So, your situation, challenges, I'm showing up with too much challenges. Okay, I'll explain it wrong. Well, that's good. On the bottom of the deck is a judgment card. This is another opportunity for you to be able to do what you got to do, for things to balance out, for you to, you know, things to start rolling. Okay, so you don't see that coming. Okay, so for your situation, you have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you are manifesting something, listening to your intuition about somebody, and maybe you're starting to see right through them, right? This is helping you to see right through them. It's like you want fairness because whatever it was wasn't fair, and the thing that you don't see it coming is the judgment card, so it's about to come for you. Things are going to start being easier. Your challenges are three of pentacles, five of pentacles, and a ten of wands. I don't know if you're feeling left out of a 30, third party really, um, situation. It doesn't mean cheating. It can mean too many people on your business, too many people um, like button their nose in your business. It can mean that maybe you didn't get the job that you wanted. Like it could be disappointments, you know what I mean? Something that's in the way of what you're trying to get. But it's leaving you feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles because there's something in the way of what you want, right? And the Ten of Wands is hardships. This is just like lots of burdens on your shoulders. You don't know what to do. You're like, you know, it's like, it's really hard on you. But the good thing about the Ten of Wands is, well, plus zero equals one, so it's the ending and any beginning all at the same time, right? Okay, so for your um, actions and advice, it's the Hermit, Transformation, and the Lover's Card. Okay, this might be say that you're dealing with a love situation or somebody that you love. If not, this is just saying maybe you need to learn how to love yourself a little bit more. I'm not saying you don't, but you know what I mean. The Hermit is about introspection, taking time away from people, places, and things so you can do the healing work that you need to do for yourself. Go deep within, find what you want and what you don't want anymore and what you don't want to accept anymore and just don't allow other people to keep on making you feel like you have to shelter away from everybody. I feel like um, the actions and advice is telling you to stay away from certain people, places, and things because they're only going to cause you more harm and it's going to cause you more hurt. So you're going to need to keep on like, you know, you need to block yourself. Set up like some type of good barriers, good healthy boundaries so other people can't cross them. <coughs> cross them. And if they do cross them, it's like there has to be consequences. That way they know if the next time happens, like there's going to be something they have to deal with. And then you have the transformation card. This is um, the death card. It's the transitioning card. It's just saying that you're kind of like a butterfly, like going from the cocoon to like, you know, the butterfly. So it's like you're transforming new realizations, new ways of doing things. Like everything is starting to become differently for you. But it's because you're maturing and you're growing. And sometimes when you're maturing and growing, you kind of outgrow people. You know what I mean? With the Queen of Swords and you kind of got to cut them off because they're no longer helping you go to where you need to be. Then you have the King of Pentacles for your outcome. But this, this is just saying, you know, you're going to be stable. You're going to be, you know, fine. You're going to be sitting in your throne. You're going to have some type of power. You're, um, you may also be with somebody who's very loyal because the King of Pentacles is a loyal card, loyalty card. It can also mean that, you know, and this is also a card for the future. This In this card, it says make sure that you take some time out for your family and your friends. Life is not always about work, work, work. I don't know if that's for you or somebody that's close to you. But, um... The Nine of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like you're you're kind of with the outcome. It's gonna kind of be stressing you out. You may end up mad. You may be dealing with a Gemini too, but you may end up mad. Okay, I don't know why, but I feel like with this card with the Knight of Swords, he always is like an angry person to me because he's on the horse and he's charging right. And this person may have two sides to them. Okay, so it might just be this person may you know, maybe one way now and then another way like later you know what I mean so I don't know but this is also saying make sure you think twice before you go ahead and make any type of moves so you have to think things through first the nine of swords are really stressed out over this um I don't know if there's an ending of this love situation that might cause you to be stressed out but whatever it is that's going on um it might let's get some more let's clarify this nine of swords the devil I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn, but you are a Capricorn. The Nine of Swords, the King of Swords, you got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So this may be a relationship that you may be cutting off. You got the world, which is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. And the Devil card to me tells me that maybe you're feeling stuck. 
right? And you're not sure what to do. So that's what's stressing you out. You're feeling chained, you're feeling stuck, something isn't going your way and it's like stressing you out. You may not even be, you may even be on like having lost of sleep and stuff like this, like nightmares, not being able to sleep. I'm gonna pull some Oracle cards. Breaking trail, breaking a breakthrough is at hand. So things are about to start working out for you. Just like I said with the judgment card, there is an opportunity coming your way. You may not see it yet, but a breakthrough is at hand. So things are going to work out for you. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss, listen to your intuition, listen to your intuition wherever you're feeling called to, and you know go for that. So if you're feeling like pulled in a couple different ways, like what way are you really, really being pulled to go in more? I would go to that one. Then you have vast vistas, expand your horizons. I don't know if you guys are moving, switching jobs, or something like this, but vast vistas just means like new things, new, you know, seeing new things. <laughs> new things are on the horizon, one more. Surrender into the journey, release control. Whatever kind of control um, issues you have, or the other people have, or expectations, or whatever it is, it's just like allow things to be and just, you know, it'll be so much easier when you allow things to be. All right, surrender to the journey. So don't keep on fighting whatever that you're trying to fight because surrendering the, to the journey is like just saying, okay, you know what, I give up and I'm just going to let things be. So whatever that means for you. I'm going to get some love cards. X. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. It could be any one of those. So there might be a breakup at hand. I'm not taking all of those, but I'll take this one. And I feel like this one, the snake. Competition. So you may be feeling like you're competing with other people to get what you want. And maybe that might be, you know, why it's saying surrender to the journey. Maybe you don't have to keep on fighting. I don't know why I heard that. Enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. It doesn't have to be another woman or another man in a relationship. It could just mean that they're, you know, like cheating wise. It could just mean that there's other people in your business that shouldn't be there and they're causing problems. And then you have the Grim Reaper. This relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And there is a transformation card here. So you got it two times. So it's like if things are getting too rocky, they're not working out for you and you just keep on feeling like everything that you're doing is just not working and you've tried every single thing, well then maybe you need to try something else. You know what I mean? If I mean, just go with your intuition. That's another important thing right here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm done. Alright, thank you for watching. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Toodles.